So the formula for continuous compounding is the future value is equal to the present value, e to the jn, where fv is the future value, pv is the present value, n is your duration, and this is going to be in years. So whenever you have continuous compounding, it's in years. And J is your nominal interest rate. So when you quote a percentage per annum compounded continuously, you'll put in this rate, but in decimal fraction notation, so 0 0.01 is if it's 1% per annum compo continuously compounded, etc. Okay, so that's the formula. Your J is your nominal interest rate in decimal fraction notation. Your N is your duration in years. So for that formula, making J the subject of the formula, we're going to have obviously the FV is equal to PVE to the JN. And now we're going to take that J and we're going to make it the subject of the formula. So in order to do that, we're first going to divide through by PV because PV is multiplied by E to the JN. So we divide through by PV and we're going to get FV over PV is equal to E to the JN. So we're going to need to know our log rules. So a reminder about our log rules, we're going to have log x to the n is equal to n log x. x to the n is equal to n log x. But we're also going to look at the natural log. So log e, log base e is lin, which is the natural log. And log e, e is equal to just 1. So lin e is equal to 1. Now we can go ahead and lin both sides. So we have lin future value over present value, lin e to the jn. Now we can take that jn and shove it to the front. So lin future value over present value is equal to jn lin e. Lin e is equal to 1, so we pretty much sorted, so I'm just rewriting it without the lin e there. And now if you want to make J the subject of the formula, we're just going to divide through by N. So ln FV over PV divided by N is equal to our J. So that's our nominal interest rate in decimal fraction notation. And I'm just rewriting it with J on the left-hand side. And there we go. So again, this is your nominal interest rate in decimal fraction notation. And this is a formula you're going to use for continuously compounding. So whenever you have continuous compounding, this is the one you're going to use for it. And what if we wanted N to be the subject of the formula? We do the exact same thing up until this point. And instead of dividing through by N, we would divide through by J. So we'd have lin FV over PV divided through by J is equal to our N or n is equal to lin fv over pv divided by j, where the n year is in years. So whenever you have continuously compounding, continuous compounding, you will have your n is, units are going to be years. So we have an example which asks us to calculate the future value of 2,700 Rand invested for three years at 7% per annum continuously compounded. So that CC automatically tells us our formula that we're going to use is FV is equal to PVE to the JN. And we're going to want to calculate the future value so it's already in the format we need it in. Now let's write down everything that we know. So we have 2,700 Rand invested, so we have PV is equal to 2,700. We have N is equal to the three years. And it's 7% per annum continuously compounded, so we have J is equal to 7% per annum CC. But for our formula, we need the J in decimal fraction notation, so that is equal to 0 0.07. We've just taken that 7 and divided it by 100, remember? Now we're going to check to make sure that our units for our years coincides with the 
compounding period. So in this case, whenever we see CC, our N needs to be in years. So they correspond, so we sorted. Now all we have to do is put it into the formula. So we have 2700 E to the 0 0.07 times by 3. And that is going to give us, if we put it into our calculator, 3330.93076, et etc. And we're going to round it off to 3330.93. So our end answer is R3330.93. Okay, and that's it for this example. Okay, so let's do an example. So the example here is calculate the present value of a loan with a future value of 10,435 rand 14 cents borrowed for 10 months at 15% per annum continuously compounded. So the moment you see that CC, you know your formula is FV is equal to PV E to the JN. And in this case, we want to calculate the present value. So we'd make the present value the subject of the formula. So in this case, we want the present value by itself. So it's just PV is equal to your future value E to the JN. So that's the formula we're going to use. So let's write down everything that we know. So we have a future value of 10, 4, 3, 5, 0. 0.14. So future value is equal to 10435.14. It's borrowed for 10 months. So N year is 10 months at the moment. We will need to check that to make sure our units coincide with what we need for the formula. And it's at 15% per annum continuously compounded. So our J is 15% per annum CC, which now we can go through and check that everything is corresponding or not. So the CC year says that our N needs to be in years. So to get it in years, we'll divide it by 12, because there are 12 months in a year, so it's 10 over 12 years. And we have J in our formula, but it needs to be in decimal fraction notation. So we're just gonna have it as 0 0.15. How did we do that? We took the 15 divided by 100. Now we can put it into our formula. So we're going to have our present value is equal to 10435.14 divided by e to the power of 0 0.15 times by 10 divided by 12. And that is going to give us, if we put it into our financial calculators or our normal calculators, scientific calculators actually, we will get... 9208.978, etc. We're going to round it off to 9208.98. Okay, and that is it. Okay, so we have an example where it says, how long will it take 6,000 Rand to double itself when invested at 12% per annum continuously compounded? So the CC gives us the formula that we need to use. FV is equal to PV e to the jn. We want to find n because we're looking for how long. So we can go ahead and we can derive it from scratch or we can remember how we derived it. So n is equal to the ln of the future value of a present value divided by j. So that's the formula we will be looking at. If you can't remember how we got there, just go back to where we actually made N the subject of the formula and run through that process again. Right, next up, we like what information do we have? So we have 6,000 Rand as the present value, 6,000. And then it says to double itself. So we can write 6,000 times by two. And then invested at 12% per annum continuously compounded. So we have J is equal to 12% per annum continuously compounded. We know we're going to use that J in the formula, which means it must be in decimal fraction notation. So that's 0 
And our N is going to come out in years because of the CC part. Now we can just put it into our formula and solve. So N is equal to the ln of 6,000 times by 2 over 6,000 over 0 0.12. And that is going to give us 5.7762, etc., which we can round off to 5.78 years. Now, one thing that we could have done whenever we see things like double itself and we know we have a piece of our formula that is, you know, the future value over the present value, we could have just subbed in to this piece here, the future value over the present value, we could have just subbed it in as two. And you can see that it is two if you go to the equation where we did it the long way around, because that 6,000 cancels with that 6,000 and you just left with two. So if you have questions that are like double itself, triple itself, 1.8 times itself, 1.7 times itself, it's a quick, you know, situation in our calculator where we can just, you know, sub it in by however much it, it increases by. And that is it for this example. So we have an example that now says, at what nominal interest rate must money be invested in to triple itself in seven years if the compounding is continuous? So once again, it, there is the continuous compounding there. So we know our formula is going to be that F V is equal to PV e to the jn. But it's asking us what is the nominal interest rate, which means we're going to be solving for the interest rate. So we want that to be the subject of the formula. So once again, j is equal to ln future value over present value divided by n. And if you're uncomfortable with that, please go back to where we went ahead and made it the subject of the formula and run through that again. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to write down everything that we know. So here it says money be invested to triple itself. So there's a couple of ways you can go about this. We can think about what we did in the previous question where we're like, oh, well, it triples itself. So our future value of our present value is just equal to three and go from there when we put it into the formula there. Or we can think about it in a slightly longer way, but still a completely valid way. We say, okay, let's choose our present value and I'm going to just choose a thousand here. And I'm like, and it triples itself. So my future value is equal to 3000. So that's an alternative route that we can go. And then we can put the 1000 and 3000 into the formula and solve from there. We have also the seven years. So we have N is equal to seven years. We're lucky because it is in years. So remember when it's continuously compounding, this needs to be in years for our formula. And now we just shove it into our formula and solve. So we have J is equal to lin, and I'm doing it the short way, lin three over seven. So if you do it like this, it's quicker in your calculator because obviously you don't have to put in numbers there. Well, three numbers, you can just put in like one number. And that's going to give us 0 0.15694, et cetera, et cetera. And once again, when we talk about this, so that's the answer for the formula. But if we were discussing this and, you know, with each other, we would refer to it in percentage. So we just divide it, well, multiply it by 100. So that's also equal to 15.69% per annum continuously compounded. So that's the answer at the formula. That's the answer that we would, if we were discussing it with each other, what we'd use. We'd use percentage when we're discussing it with each other over the decimal fraction, which is the formula based. Okay. In the previous